Today's story begins here, at the daycare Lilla Nyckelpigen, outside the rural town of Uppsala, in the very north of Sweden. It all began a mere two days ago, when this young mother, Sarah Olsen, went to meet with the daycare to discuss the induction, or inskulning, of her son, sweet, innocent Anton, three and a half years old. We came there and uh, I started to ask a little bit about their pedagogical... ...pedagogiska verksamhet. And, uh, and that was when she told me about the bear that sleep, Björn and Sova. Björn and Sova is a so-called game where a bear, I'm assuming a polar bear, pretends to sleep in the middle of a small room. The children are then forced to walk around the bear while singing a joyful song only to find the bear seconds later waking up, furious. The bear then tries to catch the children who are fleeing for their lives in panic. We sat down with Liv Kallenblad, supervisor of Lilla Nickelpigen. Can you understand the parents' concern when you play games such as Björn and Sova? Yeah, but we have a lot of games like this, not only Björn and Sover. Wait, you mean there's actually more games like this? Yes, of course. It's but, not uh, can you give a few examples of just uh, what kind? Yes, of... uh, we have this game, uh, Bokkarna Bruse. It's a very funny game where this uh, kind of dirty old man hides under a bridge. Uh, or we have, um, who is afraid of the black man, Svarte Man. But, but this is insane. These are young, innocent children. Yeah, but, but it is all part of our pedag uh, pedag uh, pedagogical plan. So inside these very walls, every morning, young lives are taken and families shattered. Sweden, once a country loved and respected by the rest of the world, now a fearful hellhole in complete despair. This is Martin Shepard for the BBC in Sweden.